Witcher. A word, please. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, were called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Ciri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Mm. A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? I just travel a lot. And I don't always happen upon such good and civil company. Ah, gift of the gap she's got. Here's the good company. This I like. Drinks like a lad, knows her sword work, kills a boar as if it were a piglet. A she-wolf, if ever I've seen one. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword, I've knowed one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. 
Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself, I'd consider it an honor. Oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Dawns. Ready? As ever, first one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, Siri, don't you embarrass us! <sighs> Wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll? Uh-huh. Ask a service of the Witcher, the Pelabost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Why hold the ritual at all? At times men die choking with regret. At times death takes them before they've tasted any bitterness in life. These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living, must be judged, sent on their way. This we do on Forefather's Eve. What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free, this the Pella knows. Not to fear, how to reward one for their aid, this too the Pella knows. Seems like you could use a Witcher, so yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse, the Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey, to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Each will say by what they're having. What is this life? Well, you know. Greetings. Just in time. Good folk, behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. 
Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help, some will be. From these, you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. Let's begin for Father's Eve. Ye who wander on the gale, ever caught in this world's thrall, she the sign, gentle pale, ye we shun, ye we call. <laughs> A sound I hear. Tis right. A spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak. This time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes. Who are you? He knows. Should I drive him away? Nay. No. I've come for you, Patricide. Be gone, foul force. I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire. Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy. Help me! Leave now. You're disrupting the ritual. This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take him, and disperse the others. Good folk, leave not these grounds! You cannot break the circle! It is an ill turn, ill. Woe are we. Blood has stained the hallowed ground. Yet we cannot stop what has begun. The bloodshed, it do any harm? Tainted lies the circle now. They who thirst for the gore of men shall come. God's willing, they will be few and the Pella shall finish the right. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. All is quiet, all is quiet. All is quiet. All is quiet. Something whispers, something peeps. Someone near our fire creeps. All is quiet, all is This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves. If your lives you value, run. lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual. That spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back. Likely to keep his word. Old man Ambrose, the Pella fears not. That wraith called you a patricide. He get it right? Aye. If I'm gonna help you, I gotta know everything. Why'd you kill your father? The Pella does not wish to speak of this. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid, that's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. Listen, I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambrose lies in the swamp. Fine. I'll find his body, see what I can do.
Blair the 17th, 1272, Tuesday, Crow's Perch, body of the Peller's father, it has to wait, lost enough time already, need to get to Oxenfurt. What's that? Halt! Stand in duel! I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor Maid Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have knights in hand left after you. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the Maid Bilberry. Well, uh, why? Um, then swear. Swear! Maid Bilberry's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend! Stand and fight! <laughs> No, I yield. Not enough. Yes, luck stood with you. But but the next time we meet, go back to Maid Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Where was I? Blair the 17th, 1272, Tuesday, Crow's Perch, body of the Peller's father. It has to wait, lost enough time already. Need to get to Oxenford, find the Baron's daughter. Might have a clue what happened to her mother. Boy, sing First the so. army's past, then the pause, like now the younger. Grim Reaper must be having His a His eyes work. red. Like embers in a fire, he leaned o'er me and whispered, <laughs> Trusty arms for all sorts, steel swords and strong maces for the menfolk, and grave knuckle dusters for the ladies. Master quality weapons, you capable of making them? Who do you think I am? A Tory? A Tory? The master craftsman of Novigrad. Why, everyone's heard of him. Says he's retired now, so no. Ain't no one can do what you ask. So long. Wow. Except my youngins to hit mushrooms yesterday. He's like me, kitty cats. Alone. You know how it is. I've too many mouths to feed. What kind of mother are you? More food for the rest now. <laughs> What was that about? What's become of me in me elder years? Refused a roof over me head by a common churl. I was born a noble's daughter. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. What happened to him? A caller came one day. A drifter, a hunter. It wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. We prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offence, refused to bid me farewell. Years on I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. I could take care of those monsters for you. Hmm. You're a witcher, right? No ordinary man would be so eager. Don't fret. It's all the same to me, provided you're honest. The house is east of here. Take this key. Once you've driven off the beasts, look for a chest. My treasure. Savings, really. They're yours. What'll that leave you with? A roof over my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I could never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. That manner sounds easy enough as contracts go. Hope it will not delay me too long. Help! Oh, 
by the gods! That you'd have eaten me alive for certain. The corpses must have drawn them. Thank you for not leaving me there. Seems luck's with me at times after all. Luck? Guess things could be worse. You get infected recently? That why you haul corpses? What? No, it's my job. Well paid too. <laughs> Thing is, you're not a witcher or a mage, so you're not immune. I'm no foul mutant, thank the gods. But no worries, eh? It's just, well, no illness ever holds me. How did this happen? Axel snapped first. So, I poked me in underneath, see if I could fix it. Then out of the blue, a howl from the woods. My mare reared as if a wolf had already clinched her hind. The cat tipped and whoa, the cargo fell right on top of me. Your horse ran off. Aye, damn thing bolted. Ain't that my luck. If it don't rain, a wagon of stiffs pours on me head. Gonna need a new cart. Gotta burn this one, soon. Can't I just bury the stiffs somewhere near? Cart's still fit for fixing. Anyone learns you carried plague victims in it, no one will ever hire you again. Why would they need to learn? I won't tell if you don't. And you'll spread the pox for miles around. Oh, needs must, I suppose. Got anything to start a fire with? Well, well, lit up like a bale of straw. Am I ever lucky I ran into ye? Thanks for your help and wise counsel. Here's some more. Go home, burn those clothes, and scrub yourself thoroughly. Yo, sure, sure, but I'll tell you true, no blight could touch me. Sure hope so. manner the old woman mentioned. You've returned. What's become of my home? It's safe now. I thank you. This means so much. And perchance did you find my chest? With my treasures? Yeah. Pretty generous as rewards go. You've earned every last bit. Time I was on my way. Gods guide you. <laughs> 